honey badger here. Don't you hate it when you're sitting out in your backyard enjoying your coffee in the morning, listening to the bird saying, and all of a sudden you hear this. dreaded septic alarm so uh, that's basically telling me my uh, septic water is not getting pumped out the float switch came up or there's a problem with the float switch or there's a problem with the pump or there's a problem with uh, the timer and um, fortunately for me I took a look in here and this is what I found. A nice charred contact from, from the coming out of the timer. So uh, this timer's blown. Uh, you can check it. These are this is a mechanical, uh, intermatic style uh, timer. And you know normally when you when you turn these things, when it goes from the off position to the on position, you'll hear a click. And um, I'm just not hearing anything. So I mean, this this timer's definitely dead. So uh, this is an easy fix. Uh, these are about like 50 bucks on Amazon, readily available. So um, anyway, time to order a new timer. Yeah, I just thought I'd give you another look here. Look at that baby. It's just smoked, charred. Definitely bad. I could have sworn I replaced this not too long ago, but um, there you have it. <laughs> so I'll put another one in and we'll check her out. Okay, first thing you do is you uh, switch off the breakers, obviously. And uh, I remove the uh, old timer from here. And I cut a couple of zip ties that was holding everything together. I need I needed this wire. This is the bad one. Um, I cut it clean, about an inch down. This end is pretty charred right here. So got a nice, good section of new stuff. And I'm going to put a uh, one of these spade lugs on it, and uh, I'll wait for the new part to come in. Okay, you got another uh, spade lug crimped on, and uh, do a little heat gun shrink up to shrink it. Okay, I used a little heat gun and uh, did some heat shrinking of these. These are heat shrinkable connectors. Uh, so this is the one I replaced. And um, this is just one I'm going to stick on the unused terminal when I get the new part. The other one was looked like it was a little bit charred from being next to the, to the one that blew. So A couple of things I wanted to add. Um, I'm filming this after I already replaced the timer, but um, you do want to keep your system running uh, while you're waiting for this new timer to come in, because you want to keep that uh, aerobic pump that I'm this pump that I'm sitting on here. You want to keep that pump running at all times, and um, you know you could just turn off your alarm since you already know there's a problem. And so you can just leave the alarm, the audible alarm off, and just let it run. Now, if it's going to take you a while to get one of these, you also, if you need to pump down your your gray water, if you if you think that uh, maybe it's getting too full, uh, maybe you have a large household and it's going to take a while to get this, or it's back ordered or something. What you could do, can do is you can make a little jumper wire like this and then you can attach 
this jumper wire onto these two connections down here. Pull, you know, take those two connections off because you're essentially replacing this, the switch with this jumper wire. And so turn off the power, connect this up, turn the power back on, um, let the system run until the alarm goes off or maybe till like you know, 30 minutes or so after the alarm goes off and then you'll get the the gray water down to a, a decent level and then you can uh, just disconnect this uh, turn it back off disconnect this and then turn it back on again to keep the uh, the uh, aerobic pump air pump going and then you can just do that you know as often as you need to to uh, keep the system pumped down until you get your replacement timer okay I got my new timer um, I shut off the power I've got it hooked up again just gonna go over this uh, with you one more time um, this is the neutral and hot uh, of the input to the timer and then this hot is jumped over to this switch and so uh, when the timer goes off to when you want it to operate uh, when you want the pump to operate the switch will switch from here to here and uh, that's why you've got this this line here and that's going to uh, energize your submersible pump to pump out the, the water in your aerobic system uh, there's a very good reason to have this one on here um, it's a safety reason because this this leg is actually hot when the timer is not uh, spraying. So make sure that you replace uh, that piece, even though there's no wires connected to it, because there will be 120 volts on this line right here. Um, so another thing to be careful of when you're attaching it this didn't come with any adhesive unfortunately so I'm just going to use some uh, double-sided sticky tape but you want to get it make sure that the door can close you don't want to put it too far over and then you can't shut the door you know before you stick it on um, get it close enough that the door can close but you don't want it too far over because then it, it's going to hit this these these breakers over here and uh, you won't be able to close the door so um, the safest thing to do if you're going to do this yourself is before you take off the old one you know just go ahead and grab a sharpie and mark it in the corner to show you know exactly where it was mounted and then you don't have to worry about it not not being able to close the door when you replace it so I'm just going to tape that guy back up. Okay, got uh, the system connected and wired. Um, got it hooked back on here with the tape. I have the time set to the current time. And um, I, I'm going to turn this on manually. And, you know, if you don't have one of these, then just, you know, set it to, to where you're spraying. Um, I just want to get rid of the uh, water that's in the tank. I don't know how full it is. Um, so I'm just going to let it run. I'm going to turn on the alarm, let it run until the alarm goes off, and then I can just return it back to normal operation. Um, uh, like I said earlier, uh, make sure you tape it in the right spot. You can see there's almost no clearance there I had to mount it very close in order to be able to close this thing so um, when you're mounting it actually I recommend before you before you take off the old one just use a sharpie and mark the location of this uh, unit before you take it off and that way you'll know exactly where to put it back on again and uh, that's about it I'm going to turn her on I've got it set on. Close her up. And turn it on. 
let's go check, make sure that those sprinklers are spraying. And there they are, out in the backyard, right there in the middle. You can see the spray, they're spraying, so, you know, it's a pretty simple job. Uh, especially if you take pictures, you know, take pictures bef before you disconnect it and just put everything back the way that it was. And uh, it's a very simple, simple thing to fix. Um, you know, fortunately, I didn't have to go do anything in the in the tank, um, which I mean, that's not also a difficult job. But I'd rather replace a timer than than mess with the gray water tank myself. So uh, hopefully, this is helpful to you. Thank you for watching, and Honey Badger out.